Hello and welcome back to Songs of Six. I am the Fiend, and today we're going to be continuing our Lizard City Empire. Lizard Empire. We have quite a bit of money. We have no technology, and we are running low on admin points. But we have a considerable region. We have Lizardu, we have Lizardburg, and we have Lizardi. But I'd like to expand that. I'd like to expand that. And... In order to do that, we're going to have to declare war on somebody eventually. In the moment, we have currently 45 poorly trained Kryptonians here, and we have 45 poorly trained Kryptonians coming over here, or half trained, pretty decently trained. And they're going to sit in this region, they're going to keep them happy. We also have 350 very well trained Amevian soldiers in it growing. We're going to try to get more. I'm going to expand. The training ground i'll likely try to double it i'm gonna probably do like the exact same thing copy it have a bunch of places for people to work and train and hopefully put a bunch more houses there we have a lot to do we are still very far from that point i'd say when we hit like 2000 3000 we'll start to see that but for right now we have to deal with our happiness drops and our loyalty bumps they keep dropping because the happiness keeps dropping uh, I don't know how to deal with that. I think that it just has to do with the fact that we have a lot of immigrants. And also, I think that the environment climate here being bugged from the start has hindered me a lot. Because I am not in a warm environment. I am in a, t uh, a f oh, I'm in a warm environment. I'm not in a temperate, sorry. And for some reason, it's, it believes that I'm in a temperate environment. So, there's that. It's kind of annoying. But what can you do? What can you do? I'll keep my I'll keep my work towards getting this aw pillars, statues, and trees and everything else covered in order to get that boost up there. And we can see you can see we have good soldiers, enemy kills. So in case you're wondering, someone asked, is it worth is it like the soldiers the amount of soldiers you have or the skill they have? I think it's both. I think that it's a mix of both. It's not just soldiers, it's the soldier's skill. As well you can see their experience here has no real effect but it's the soldiers amount so they like to see there's more of them oh it says the amount of soldiers so it's actually the amount so if I had a thousand I think they'd be happy but in, ideally you don't want a thousand people to be soldiers because if they all die you have nobody in your city to run it and then your city fails and you lose so most of the time I try not to put my entire populace into into service you know regardless I will see you guys in a moment oh my goodness instantly look at that realm collapses due to internal strife the realm of Korkensky has divided so Korkensky here had some internal division in their city of Novaster here it's now free for grabs I'm going to Get my troops ready, and I'm gonna send them out, but I think I need alcohol in order to do that. And some clothes. So I'm gonna get that working. I was just looking at how far I could get these garrisons from here without annoying people. I think that's probably the best idea right there to have them up there. We'll have a couple of them go across like that. And we'll also suspend, suspend these interior buildings so that they finish one at a time and they don't put all the resources in separate ones so ideally what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to here Kurkinski bro what is going on in your region my brother we're gonna take some alcohol we'll take 300 that's a lot we'll take a little bit of clothing 250 Jeez, that's a lot. Alright, well, that's not gonna be cheap, so what we do is put some of that in there. Get some of that alcohol coming in. 
need to send my troops out so we can take that region over. Once we take Novaster, it'd be all over. And I also would like to do this. We're going to copy here. Make another one. All right, yep. Alright, we've been challenged by some rebels. 483 rebels versus my 5, or my 350. I don't know why I said 5. 350 pretty decently trained boys will engage. Alright, here we are. We've got our newly equipped boys. They've got metal armor, falcatas, and shields, as well as some archers here on the flanks. There should be some archers on both sides. So we have a little bit of archery, a little bit of bows, or, uh, Swords and shields. These guys got swords and shields. Some bows. Some bows. They're not too they're not too shabby. These are these are decently trained rebels. We're gonna do our best to kill their asses. We'll let our first volley go. Arrows. Hopefully taking out their Units that have bows. It's not always a deal to have these small of units, by the way. Because you can see they already have outnumber us on that level. But I don't think their archery is higher training than ours. We seem to be better training. Yeah, they don't have better training. And their melee troops are no better than ours. Or I'd say, rather, they're poor. In comparison so we'll have our guys shoot the sides here hopefully do some numbers we'll try to have this guy target this group let's see what they do fire on them boys one of these guys has better training than the other yeah that's definitely them although Nice. Nice. That's what I like to see. That group got hit by a catapult but didn't die. We're actually going to pull these guys over a little bit. No, nope, they're not going to charge yet. I just don't want them to get charged by those groups. I don't think they're going to. I think they're going to try to line up and shoot at me. And it's going to take them a while. We're already tearing their numbers up. They're 40 guys down. Oof. I hate when they hit you same guys with that thing. Okay, we've got our uh, Tilapis coming in. They're going to break when they hit that line. These guys are coming in. Garthimis are coming in. Garthimis won't make it either. I was right that they would break when they hit that line. These guys are just too well trained. And these humans, they've got swords and shields, but they're, they're not going to do anything either. So all their melee troops have entered combat now. This is the, the last group. I'm gonna hit that line, and we're gonna just bounce back off them. Yep, not even a single Omevian got hurt there. That sucks though, I hate getting hit by those. We might send a group over there or something. If we can put the full speed. We're actually just gonna march forward. Push forward, man. If they stand in your way, kill them. Get back there. We'll have them try to line up here. Oh, good, that missed. Good, the Catonians have broken. We can push these guys up on the flank. These guys are all dead. We killed... What, 480 guys in no time at all. Push up, brothers. There's only one left. And then the catapult. That's what training really does a lot for your army. If you're getting beaten by rebels, it's probably because they have better numbers, not training. They don't seem to trade very well.
Yes, yes. I hope you like that little battle. That beautiful little battle. We destroyed those rebels to a man. And I am currently training up new groups of Amivians. I actually should put another group here. We're going to have this group here. So we have two new groups of 50 Amivians. Or actually, why don't I train up two groups of 100 Amivians? And these will be 40 percenters. They'll stick at 40 percent. And they're going to be 100 guys. So these will be the kind of like the auxiliary troops here. As you can see, we've kind of expanded down here. We've got two new training grounds. We've got two new archery grounds. We have a nice new warehouse. I kind of filled it in. I have two new admin buildings as well as a building for making paper right outside of it. I expanded all of the houses. They now all have basements. I'd like to get that to actually be, uh, let's see. I don't think we have the technology for it yet. You need like four, uh, 2,000, yeah, 2,000 to get the next one upstairs. But they all are upgraded to basements for the most part. We definitely need some more uh, slaves, but we did capture a couple guys in that battle. And we enslaved them. I tried to expand some of the waterways so that we have access to trees. Because what I did was I removed the woodcutter from one of our regions. And I put fruit. You can see we have 12.7 thousand fruit. I'm currently trying to sell fruit as fast as possible. Same with gems. We are not able to sell as many gems as I'd like. I could go in here and technically do this. Go in diplomacy. Sell him like that many. 3,000 or 5,000 or whatever. And then just ask for $50,000. I have so much it's going to spoil. I have to get rid of it. It's, it's spoiling. So that's the struggle. We've got a warehouse here. or That's the old warehouse. But I'm going to actually expand those warehouses. Because I've been putting more warehouses everywhere. I'm trying to expand everything. I put an asylum up here. I put a new noble. He is a noble of industry. We have room for a couple more nobles. I just haven't really put them in. I, I try not to put too many nobles in at a time. But usually that's only because I haven't built their house. So if I, for example, went and built another chamber. Yeah, the chamber for him is over here. If I went and built another chamber, for example, somewhere down here where it lines up, like that, then I can set another person. And if you're new, it's always smart to go to age. Scroll up to someone who's not a child. The Amevians are children. Oh, oh, there are a lot of Amevian children. Amevian are children up until they're age five. So if I can find somebody who's at age five or six, that's fine. And they will live a long time as this noble. From being a child. So Master of Forge is not useful. We are using weavers, brewers. But we're not using smelters or any of that stuff. So it's probably not as useful. Mining, not so much. I think that the Master of uh, University would probably be the best. That way we can get a little bit more knowledge out of what we have. I expanded over here. We have a bunch of new houses. I need to put a janitor in here over here as i just realized there's no janitor we expanded the water over here we also expand our export import depot area we put a physician so they're getting access to health services now they should be getting access to health services so that is good we need to get some opiates coming into the city but i can get that pretty pretty easily based on the fact that now i have a couple regions and we're growing we're growing i put in two more brew or two breweries actually not more i didn't have breweries in the first place i put two breweries in to keep the brews coming we have rations being made and we have clothing being made so our city is self-sufficient when it comes to actually creating troops and actually supporting them in the world we don't have to rely on people to send us stuff we are perfectly self-sufficient except for on the coal basis but we can figure that out pretty simply i have a new pottery building over here i fixed the old pottery building and they don't seem to be able to keep up with the pottery or the, the clay production. We have a new clay pit over here as well. I think it's probably because, yeah, the, the amount of guys has dropped. We're training a bunch of guys. I'd really want to have, this is, we're going to have 550 guys. That's perfect. We have 240 training at a time. For some reason, my iron is always sitting at zero. So what I'm actually going to do is sit on a trade deal here we'll put a thousand 
iron. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. $620,000. That seems to be a little bit odd. That's probably where all of our money is constantly getting sunk into. But we do have some places that we can start to use. I don't know why I made... This one was supposed to be stir. I think that I... Yeah, Lizard stir. This place is going to grow big. It's got a target capacity of 3.75. And that's only on the this level here. We have them with the library. So they don't have to... They don't really produce very much in the way of goods. So we're having them use their massive population size to increase our production, basically. Our world wor world workforce. Oh my god, that's hard to say. We have a gem mine level 3. They're creating 121 gems a day. They send those to me. I can't even keep up with selling them, but they're great for that, that money. We have a level 5 fruit farm. So this fruit farm is keeping... Our people fed so well and honestly I think no they don't really have anything if they had like coal or something I might lower it down matter of fact yeah actually what I'll do is I think I'll go to this one I'll get that and then can I put it back up okay yeah perfect having them send just a little bit of opiates per year or per whatever it is month is perfect and we have fruit farms over here we have fish and we also have gems now, I'm not cons I'm considering that, yeah, doing that would be a smart idea. We have three build points for something else. We could do cotton. Yeah, I think cotton would be the best idea because cotton is something we are running out of. Unless, no, herbs are fine. Herbs are okay for now. I think if we could get this region to actually level up, though, that would be great because they have some really good services or uh, resources, but we just can't get that population up there. It's not... It's not able to be raised any higher than it is. You can see we have these maxed out here. We just need more workforce. And that is going to require Lizards that are here to have the library upgraded. We need 10 build points for that. But we're doing really well. This army here has two half trained. They're not fully trained. This guy's almost there. And this guy's getting there. And then we have this guy who's fully trained. 45, 50% melee training Kryptonians. These guys are basically garrison troops to hold up regions, make them not too unhappy. So, for example, this guy, he, he should probably head over to the other army over here. I can't actually have him do that, but that's okay. We'll have him march over there, and we'll lower this tax rate so they don't get mad. I want, I want my regions to be happy. We're an actual real empire now. It feels like... We're playing Songs of Six true. We're not playing like the mercenary way and just beating the game instantly. Definitely drawing it out a little bit more. Getting to feel what we can do, how we can do it. And it's it's nice and fun to see all of these different buildings you have to put in. It's It's been a challenge. It's been quite a challenge to kind of organize. And of course a car honks. It's been quite a challenge to kind of organize and plan my my way around how I build this city. And that's why I, I keep mentioning I'm excited for the next series because I'm going to be the humans and I'm going to have a much more concise plan. I want to have a fortress. I want to have housing areas and I want to have them connected to industrial areas in a very organized way. You can see this is just all fucking mishmashed everywhere. Although technically, yeah, all of our industry is here. We have a few workplaces over here for guys who are doing things like making bows rations etc but ideally i'd like to have it so far away from them that if i look they're never ever in noise so if they can be away from noise that will really help their environment i don't really think that so like i think that this is just a fiend problem though the environment isn't so much a problem as it is the services so for example Physician, I think I think in the next episode I'm gonna focus on getting a barber and potentially even that grand arena. Because a physician and the barber, once we can do that, we will be we'll be set. So it's gonna take two thousand seven hundred and fifty, and this one takes seven fifty or seven thousand fifty. Wow, seven thousand five hundred. Wow, my brain is, is turned off right now. Turned off. But we did, we did great. We did everything I wanted to do and a little bit more in this episode. And that will be a great end to episode 5. And I just, or 
eight. See, exactly. Brain turned off. I'm still on episode five. <laughs> oh my goodness. I do want to say thank you all. Thank you all for listening to me and uh, joining in with all my stupid little rambles and enjoying these cities. I hope I teach you guys something. I hope you learn something. And be sure to ask any questions in the chat if you have any. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.